Hey guys, it's Multiplier here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a future bass wobble saw using Synthmaster 1. Having initialized the preset, the first step is to create a sawtooth wave with unison. And you can see here, oscillator 2 is turned off and oscillator 1 is set to sawtooth. To make this big and thick, I can apply a unison, pulling down volume, setting unison to 9, and applying detune. And then to remove this phasing effect, I hit this free button, giving each voice, each unison voice, a free running phase. Perfect, a super saw now. The next step is to use a low pass filter and to modulate this low pass filter using an LFO. So I'll turn on filter one, which is a low pass filter by default, then turn down input gain and also key tracking. Noting that key tracking moves filter cutoff as you move up and down the keyboard. And so by turning off key tracking, like so, keyboard position has no effect on filter cutoff, which is exactly what I want given how I want to modulate this. Modulating cutoff from zero to maximum using LFO1. Notice the visual feedback showing how much LFO1 is modulating cutoff. Noting you can change the speed for this and say sync this speed to the BPM of the project and choose something like quarter note triplets. And I find for future bass, the triangular waveform tends to work best. And then it's just a case of adding in your own creative touch, maybe a bit of reverb to fill out the mix. Noting for future bass, you probably want to shorten up the decay tail, the reverb tail, so pull back on this time parameter. And that is your future bass wobble saw. Two final points of note I do want to point out though. First of all, you need some width. Currently the width is zero, so the sound is very central. But by increasing this, it spreads out those nine detuned voices, making it sound wider. And finally, something very future based to play with turn off speed sync and modulate this LFO speed. And there you have it a future based wobble saw using Synthmaster 1. Up in Multiplier, thanks for watching.